Hey guys, I know this is my like third video that I just filmed on the webcam, but I'm sitting here waiting for my friend to arrive so we can go to a lock-in. I already told you about my hair straightening video, I think. Um, and I just wanted to make one last video to make up for any of the videos that I'm going to not be making this school week um, and maybe possibly next weekend if I'm busy and whatnot. I just want to get as many videos in as I can so that I can make up make it up to you guys. Also, just kind of as a celebration for my 500 subscribers. Um, this is a small, short kind of haul of some of the products that I just had totally like forgotten to show you guys um, over the past month or so that I've accumulated these products and whatnot. Like. I don't know. I've showed you some of the products. I'm sorry if I'm repeating, you know, what I've showed you, but I did recently get a few new products. And I also, this is kind of September favorites since it's almost the end of September. So it can be early September favorites too. Um, these are also products that I've been using a lot lately. Not even just new products, but products that I've been really into lately. So I will show you all these. Hold on. And, okay. So we're going to start off with... Ooh, I look terrible because the lighting's bad in here. I just redid my, um, I'm going to start off with what I'm wearing right now on my face. And um, on my eyes, for my eyeshadow, I'm wearing a champagne color in my Coastal Sense 88 Shimmer Palette. Real fast, I'm going to state, my Coastal Sense 88 Shimmer Palette is falling apart. I was just opening it up like five minutes ago, and the little thing on the bottom like came off and won't go back on, and so now it doesn't shut all the way, and... All the eyeshadows just deep hand and whatever, or not deep hand, but came out of the little like hole thingies, and it's falling apart, guys. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is save some money up, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get some BH Cosmetic 188 like my eyeshadow palettes to try those out, because those were were what I was originally going to try out in the beginning, but since the Coastal H Shimmer, this Coastal since palette was cheaper like by 10 bucks i decided to get those instead and i love them very much but they're falling apart and they're just not doing so well with me lately so anyway so i use the champagne color that's what i'm wearing a lot lately on the eyes because it's really like it's just really neutral and great for school and um eyeshadow or mascara i've been wearing a lot lately all my days that I don't have aquatics is my sexy curves mascara by Raymond london i've been loving that lately um and then on the days that i do have um PE or, or sorry aquatics and I have to wear waterproof makeup I have my covergirl lash blast brown waterproof a mascara and then I use my Maybelline um gel eyeliner which is waterproof somehow I don't really know how but I use that as my eyeliner on my upper lash line for aquatics days um so now I'm going to move on to the products that I have been that I've bought recently um kind of like a haul so I really wanted a new lip gloss and a few weeks ago, I bought one from um, ELF, and it was a lip stain. Now, it was um, a really pretty pink color, and I wasn't pleased with it because it just smelled bad, and it didn't go on the lips right. So what I did was, I'm like, okay, I have to have a new lip gloss. Like, I'm obsessed. So I went ahead, and I got um, Shine Blast by CoverGirl, and I've already gotten this before. Like, not the same color, but um, I got this in a glow beforehand, and now I got it in... Um, What's the color? I forgot the color, but um, the number is 840, and it is just a nice neutral pink. And the Shine Blast um, are full of glitter, but it's not too chunky, and it's it's really fine glitter. So um, And they smell, like, amazing. I don't know why, but they just smell really good to me. Uh, so I got that, and the next thing that I got along with that when I was at the store the other day was, um, actually, I bought these... The, these two were bought a week ago from, like, today. So, like, right now, a week ago, I was buying these. Um, I got this Alme, I guess, it's called Bright Eyes, and it's a highlighter and liner duo. And so, on this end, it's an eyeliner. So, I'll show you that. It's just a nice brown eyeliner. And um, I don't use it as eyeliner, though. I actually just... I can use it as, as an eyeliner, but it doesn't go on really well for me. Main reason to bought it, though, was for this end, which is like a nice white shimmery. Um, these are almost, this is almost like a shade stick on this part, um, or a NYX jumbo pencil. And I use it on my inner corners to highlight them. Yes, if you haven't noticed yet, this was used um, 
by Megan Hart's makeup and actually got it because like she was showing it in her video or whatever. I'm like, probably should get that because I've been using eyeshadow on my inner corners lately and I need something like this. Um, it's quick and easy and I actually have been bringing this in a makeup bag for school. Um, so yeah, that's great. Um, next things I'm going to move on to are things that I've been using a lot lately. Um, oh, real fast, I've already showed you this. I bought this at Walgreens and it's my new favorite eyeliner because I was just checking out at a Walgreens you know, I had one little nail polish by Revlon, which is the minted one. I'm wearing it right now. And I was checking out, and I saw this eyeliner, and I'm like, it's only $1. Might as well just get it. And it's by um, In Color, and it's uh, called Fabuliner. And I didn't expect it to be so good, but it is. Oh, my God, I love it. It's pretty much like a marker, but it's really good at just making nice and straight lines. And it hasn't dried out on me yet, unlike my CoverGirl Line Exact. That dries out so fast, and I just gave up on that. So, love this, and um, been using it as my top eyeliner lately. Just right on the outer corners, because I don't, I usually mess up when I do the whole entire length. Uh, another thing I've been using a lot lately, uh, I've hit paint on it actually, is my um, Colorworks Bronzer Powder. And the reason I've been using this a lot lately is because um, as it starts getting to fall, my tan is going away on my face, and also my foundation is lighter than my actual skin tone, so it makes me really pale on my face. So I've been using bronzer lately, and this is just a really good overall bronzer. Um, it's actually the only bronzer I have. <laughs> so it's on that finger right there, and it's just a nice neutral bronzer. It does not make me look, you know, fake or anything, and all caked on or whatever. Whatever. All I do is just get a nice little brush and put it on my cheeks and the forehead and my nose. And blend it into my neckline. And so that's what I'm using a lot lately when it comes to bronzers. Eyeshadows. I already showed you what I've been wearing a lot. But since I don't really wear eyeshadows to school, what I do is bring this palette by Alma. It goes with this. Um, and I've been putting it in my little makeup bag for school. And it has like pretty much every color, you know, that I would use every day. You've got your brown. Well, you blend all these together. But, um... That top one's a nice neutral champagne, brown, and then bronze, bronze, <laughs> and it's just a good overall eyeshadow trio. So I love that. And another lip product by Soft or is Soft Lips. This is amazing chapstick, and it's probably my favorite besides my Burt's Bees pomegranate. I bring this to school, and it's in my makeup bag, and it's just good. You should try it. And the last thing is my. Love My Lips Wet Shine Lip Gloss. I got this to go with my Rimmel London Pink Chic Lipstick, uh, like, a long time ago, pretty much. And I did not like it at first because it was so thick. And, like, it's just a weird texture, you know? And it smells amazing. It smells like chocolate. I don't know how they get it to smell so much like chocolate, but it smells good. And it is just a very nice, it actually matches. It's a little bit, um... And it's the perfect pink, but um, so let me swatch real fast here for you. Right there. And it was cheap, that's why I bought it to go over my um, Rimmel London lipstick, and it actually goes really well with that lipstick. And I use it now, it's just a normal lip gloss. I have it on my lips right now, mixed with this. So I put this on first, and then I put this over it. And so that's Kind of the color payoff of it, I guess. Downside to it, it's really thick and kind of sticky, but I like the smell and I like the color. So, um, yeah. This video is kind of going on long, guys. I'm sorry. I've been making a lot of videos today. That can get annoying, I know. But at the same time, I just wanted to thank you guys and give you a little haul here since I haven't done a lot of beauty thing of videos in a while. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, okay, so, um... Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I will see you next weekend, guys. Bye-bye.